So here we go. Let's count it down. Weber State's first outright Big Sky Champ. We don't know how long. Montana has lost. Here we go. The ice goes on. How good did they play? So, Legend S.J. Hill's first game. Or my can. Or to Josh Davis. No, I'm giving it to Cooley. So, Weber State has won the Big Sky Championship outright. This is the first time they've won the at Big Sky. Now, 2009 they won it. Brent Smith, who died in jail cell this year, we just got new dedicated the season to, but I think they were co-champions there. They were co-champions last year. Thank you to Montana State, right? Thank you, Montana State. They drilled Montana, so... Now, you know we were lost right here on this field in the tournament last year to Maine. I did the game right there. It was cold. Costume was hurt. So, this is as well as I've ever seen Weber State play here, ever. They were dominant on both sides of, I mean, Josh Davis had an incredible game, what limited play he had, but Cooley with the two touch has the, oh, look at the geese diving into the pond, how beautiful. A beautiful, great sound. What a bit. By the way, if anyone has ever been on this campus in this stadium, you don't know what you're missing. Because they're celebrating on the sideline. Weber State, what a historic turnaround by Jay Hill. This team, I will quote Jay Hill right there. Jay Hill right there. I was at the ceremony at the Oligarchs when they opened the new training facility. And he said, just remember, when I took over this program, this team had won two home games in three years. This horrible, corrupt football program, which was a nightmare. I mean, corrupt, the NCAA tried to kill it. Losing, losing, losing. Oh, Jay Hill has rolled into town, and this is one of the historic turns around in sports history. What he's done, lots of local players. Weber High, freaking Alta High. I mean, all over, local, Fremont High. Not to mention, these are fantastic young men. As you know, we've dedicated the season to Trent Smith, who died in jail cell at 32 years old, all-time leading rusher. You know, the great Josh Davis, what a game he's had, but what Jay Hill has done here, I, I cannot overstate it. This program should have been, could have been built. I mean, for what, he could roll in here and take this. I mean, it was a nightmare. It was a nightmare for decades. For decades. When was the last time you remember a really exciting winning team up here? In 1980s, since, not since Mike Price. Yeah. Not since, well, Dave Arslanian, after Mike Price. Dave Arslanian's yeah, teams were terrible. They were horrible. They were at least fun to watch. Yeah, they were fun to watch, but they were no good. And like I said, the Jody Sears era, the Gray Bill era was beyond a night. That, I cannot overshake. This program had so much fun to the NCAA that tried to kill it. This is, I cannot overstate this, what Jay Hill has done here. But Jen, you know that the coaches are bad when you get NCAA penalties, and you still suck. Yeah. One, two games in three years, so a lot of fantastic young men. I know a lot of these young men. At least if you're going to cheat, win. Please check out. Local players. So this whole cultural change, what Jay Hill has done here is legend. This program's 100 years old. A hundred, you know, the great. Yeah, I think it's irony they win it this week is what the first player of color to there ever play in the NBA. Got to get the banner. Two or has passed this week, so not co champions, champions. There'll be lots. See, we have Jamie Mar. We should have more up there. Scott Shields, uh, Wildcat Morris, but Lee White, but. There'll be lots of these players in that ring. This is, I personally believe this is the best team in the state's ever had. Now we know that 2017 team was incredible. Maybe you should have won it. You know, the bad call, the crazy play at the end, that yeah. great quarterfinal game. But Catwell was fantastic. Jay Hill, but I think this team has a lot more talent. But you gotta win games in this tournament. You have to win, you have to win. And so my hat's off to Jay Hill. Can't wait. Yeah. Cantwell was good, but what's funny is uh, nobody expected Cantwell to be good at the beginning of the year. He just ended up tearing things up. Oh, and I think you're going to yes. see the same thing with Constantine next year. So I cannot overstate this. My good friend, the offensive line coach, the old man. He's my favorite coach on this team, and you know I know lots of these young men. 
You know, what a season so many of them had. Offensive line, the linebackers, this legendary turnaround. So the legendary time right here because I believe the co-champions, I think this is the first time they've been outright champion. Oh, we got to shut this off since the 80s. So what a historic night.